One of the biggest questions I get when people call into my Let's Talk Sex radio show is, how do I know if I'm sexually compatible with my partner? And more importantly, if that chemistry is missing or doesn't seem to be there, is that a bad sign? The only place that sexual chemistry or sexual synchronicity really is in place from the get-go, it's in the movies. It's with the movie stars because they're supposed to be turned on and attracted to each other. Everywhere else, getting sexually in sync and really working at that synchronicity takes work, takes time, and it's a process. First of all, in order to be comfortable with another person, you've got to be comfortable in your own skin. And a lot of times that does take time. It's over the course of letting yourself get comfortable in your body, confident, have that sexual esteem in place, and can share it with another person. Additionally, people meet and come to the bedroom, if you will, with all different kinds of experience and all different kinds of styles. We have romantics who love to be sweet-talked and dined and wined, and we have conservatives who want to just keep it very straight-laced and very formal and very traditional. And then we have people who love to be adventuresome. They'll try anything new. They'll do things in different places. And of course, if you've got a conservative with an adventurer personality, it's going to take some working at making it work for the two of you. The most important thing is sexual synchronicity is a process. It's like taking a journey and a trip. You want to enjoy the trip. It's not just the being there. It's getting there and spending the time there. And the same thing is true of literally coming together in bed. It's something to really give yourself time, you and your partner, so that you can craft, create, and really shape being in sync sexually to make it as best as possible for both of you.